There are a number of issues that have been under discussion, or should I put it this way, there are a number of issues that have been on the table for discussion and that has been occupying the attention of the parties at the level of the management and the union. Most of the issues escalated up to the level of the Labour Department, expressed also at the level of the Minister of Transport and Works and the Prime Minister in a meeting that was held at Solidarity House May last year. There is not a single issue that has brought workers out here today that is absolutely a new issue. Therefore, it might be the same situation impacting new people, but they are old matters. And I start, start there. And I start there because it's important to say that there comes a point in time where matters are not being addressed as swiftly, as effectively, as efficiently, as expeditiously as they should. And there will always be a straw that has broken or that will break the camel's back. In the situation this morning, the straw is a situation that has occurred regarding acting and appointment arrangements that are still on the table and before the Ministry of Labor through the Labor Department. And what we intend to do now is to go in, and it, as I said, it's not the only one it is on top of, and it is what caused the break this morning. We're going to go in, we're going to try to have that matter addressed because while this is a dispute with the, the workers of the Transport Board and their management, we are very painfully aware of the impact that it is having on the traveling public and in cases like these, it is always our intention in the shortest possible time to seek resolution so that we can have things return to normalcy as soon as we can have them. Since um, you said that there are issues that are not new, you could give us some more as it relates to When we come back down, because we have to meet with the management respectfully, I would want to go and treat to that and then once we set a framework, I think I will be able to speak more expansively. What I don't want to do is to undermine our talks at the table. The Barbados Workers Union is not the union that operates like that. And you know how many workers, how many, how many, how many workers I can't tell you the exact number, but what I can tell you is that the Barbados Workers Union is sufficiently represented out here. We are, the Executive Council is pleased with the show of solidarity from the workers. We do not have many cracks and that show of solidarity must be understood by the management and the board of the Transport Board. And I have every confidence that they should, they should want to respond accordingly. Is this work stoppage going before the entire day? One hand can't clap, I can't answer that. I know that I don't want it to be for the whole day, but. A lot depends on the kind of response we get when we go upstairs.